Many people are unaware that there is an invasion going on. Don't worry thankfully for everyone it is not this kind of invasion, but nonetheless the destruction from these invaders is having a very negative effect on the environment surrounding us. Though we are not being invaded by aliens from outer space, the waters from North Carolina to the northern coast of South America are being plagued by an aquatic invader known as the lionfish or Turois volatans. Due to its strange appearance this species of fish does look quite alien, but also beautiful. The lionfish is adorned with sharp poisonous spines, and covered in vibrant red, orange and white colors making them very sought after for aquariums. Scientists believe a lionfish may have been released by a private owner and taken root in the western Atlantic, where the first one was spotted in 1985. Since the first sighting in 1985 the lionfish population has spread across the western Atlantic, Caribbean Sea and the Gulf of Mexico. This rapid invasion is partly due to the fact that the lionfish has no natural predators to help keep the population in check with the only threat to the population coming from humans. Oceanic agencies had hoped the Atlantic grouper would have been a viable predator to the lionfish, but due to overfishing grouper populations have dwindled and do not have the numbers to control the growing lionfish threat. Lionfish mainly prey on small reef-dwelling fish that provide the basis of the reef's ecosystem. These reef fish serve as a food source for other native predators and even maintain the reef itself. With the introduction of the lionfish the 42 species of small reef dwelling fish that they prey on have decreased by a staggering 60% at the same time the lionfish population has grown by 40%. With the absence of these reef fish causing a shortage of foods for natural predators and leaving the reef unmaintained ecosystems in the western Atlantic's reefs have collapsed. In reality the only way to control the population of lionfish is by scuba spearfishing. Thankfully many oceanic agencies have come together with local and professional fishermen to better control the spread of these invasive fish. As well as lionfish being fished on a large scale there have been many campaigns to get people to try lionfish as a food source and since the population has exploded the price of lionfish has dropped making it more affordable to the average consumer. So get out there and try some lionfish. Since 1985 these voracious predators have spread like wildfire throughout the western Atlantic, Caribbean Sea and Gulf of Mexico. Many people have come together from different agencies and even countries to stop the lionfish from spreading and causing further destruction. Their efforts are great but without a solution to eliminate these invaders once and for all the fate of our coral reefs is uncertain at best.